Hello, in this video I'm going to focus on materials. And the reason I'm focusing on materials is because I have a library of information over here, much of which contains material properties. So if I want to explore these material properties and maybe look for materials that have particular attributes that I have interest in, there's no easy way to do that unless you go to e inside of each of these individual um, files and, and find out the actual individual properties. So what's been added in version 2.5 is a simple material management uh, explorer. And what that'll do is it'll allow you to sift through all your materials and uh, look for the best materials based on your application. So the way this works is it relies on the smart tags of these, uh, of these material libraries here, which are basically the metadata of these materials. If I expand this out here, you'll see these are all my materials. They're also uh, smart tagged as fibers, maybe they might be smart, smart tagged as 3D materials or metals or composites or laminates, um, but they all have a material smart tag attached to them. So the software knows that these are materials. The other nice feature is the software knows that within those materials there are properties and within those properties there are units. So it has all that information stored in the client and it knows um, the, the, uh, the relationship between all of that. So what's left now is to just simply start plotting this information and we can plot this uh, under smart tag and the materials button right here. And the reason uh, it's in this particular area is because I'm using uh, you know, I'm using the smart tag concept as a way to, to, to basically catalog my materials. So I put this in here as my first, um, my first uh, option in, in terms of exploring. So to click on this and you'll pull up a new window. And this new window will have um, on the top, it'll be a table. And on that table will show you all your properties, uh, all your materials and all their associated properties. And on the bottom you have a graph, so you can actually plot this information. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select what information I would like to plot. So if I hold down the shift key, and if I hold down the control key, I can plot E1 versus E2. And I can then click on any one of these and find out, you know, which is the best material for the application I might be looking for. Likewise, I can actually scroll on the table as well, and it'll also highlight that information. I can actually plot any property against any property by simply clicking on here and looking at maybe strength. So maybe if I want to plot, uh, you know, uh, maybe stiffness, uh, transverse modulus versus strength, I can plot that here. Um, I can plot by holding the shift button. I can click any one of these properties right here, and I can plot it down here, and then find what's the best material for the application I'm looking for. So I can go back to mechanical properties, and I can say select in this case um, E1, and I can go to my strength properties and select in with the other button uh, F1T. So here now I'm comparing the strength of the material versus its modulus. So it's a very very nice way to explore uh, what you're looking for. Once you do find the material that you're interested in. Say, for instance, if I wanted the uh, strongest material that I have in my library, which is this material right here, I can then double-click that, and it will load it right here, and you can actually explore all the other information about that particular material. So that's a way for you, the user to quickly sift through and find the appropriate material and all the data associated with that by using this Materials Explorer right here. If you want to get access to these materials, uh, access to the uh, property templates and unit templates associated with these materials, you can download all that information from the links at the bottom of this video. Thank you.